Welcome back. It's David from Explore Oz. Uh, running solo today. I'm actually um, at a good mate of mine's house um, and we're having a play with um, an Android AI um, box today. So um, we've been wondering about how the app works on these devices and we're looking at this particular box. Um, it's got a wonderful little four-wheel drive picture on it. It's quite, it's quite a nice little machine. We, we don't have any details to, pr to provide about this unit yet. Um, but we're, we're evaluating this uh, running the Explorers Traveller app. So um, we've got the actual box itself, which is this little guy. Uh, we'll be plugging this into the, car, the CarPlay unit in front of me. But firstly, what we'll show you is uh, running what the CarPlay device looks like just with a standard Apple phone. This is an Apple 15 phone. Um, so we'll just plug this in and we'll switch over and have a look at the screen of the CarPlay unit. So I'm just plugging the phone in now and what you'll see this is definitely going to have to be a YouTube uh, special rather than oh is it it needs an accessory lock thing we've got a password requirement technology always we've got to have a password well done <coughs> okay so this is just standard CarPlay using your Apple device so and as I said the the Apple 15 phone uh, plugged in Oh look, my mate's got an appointment with me, which is great. So he knows I'm here. We've got a Google map display here and obviously all our apps and our app switcher is over here. So we can go into our apps list. And uh, for those of us that are familiar with Apple devices, these these look like the standard things that happen uh, with our Apple. Yeah, Apple kind of widgets and it looks kind of very Apple-esque. We've got our um, parameters of our comms up here. Um, and so that's just standard CarPlay. So what happens when we disconnect our um, phone from the from the device obviously we disconnect and now we get our little uh, CarPlay AI adapter box and we just plug that in so we plug it in a little light should come on in there hopefully there we go a couple of lights there this this box is also um, where we had the wide CarPlay so we plugged that phone into the wire we could now plug that phone wirelessly into the CarPlay box um, so it can do a, a few, it, it can obviously make your standard CarPlay wireless. Now what you're seeing is that we're booting the Android operating system. Now for those that are, are CarPlay aficionados, you'll know that this is an Apple product. Um, but now what we're basically doing is on our little AI box that we've got here, we've effectively got an Android computer system. Oh, we don't need to see that message. We've effectively got an Android computer system. Oh, that's because I didn't turn my Wi-Fi on, Martin, on the camera device. Um, we've kind of had a little a, a little technological fail. Let us just fix that really quickly. Uh, it's going to be... Okay, so sorry about that little technical fail that we had. So we've just sorted ourselves back out. Obviously, on this uh, little Android AI box that I've been showing you in front of the camera a few times, um, we've installed the Explorers Traveler app. I haven't installed offline maps or any of that sort of stuff yet. Um, this is just the very first time I've actually used this AI box and booted it into the CarPlay device. And what you'll see is that where, where, when, when we had the, um, the Apple device plugged in, we had the Apple Maps here, we have an option of obviously putting the Explorers Traveler app in there. So you can actually run the Traveler app in this little, um, this little navigation window while you can still use your controls for your music. Uh, and access all the other controls that are available here. And you'll see the same little control that we had to be able to switch the apps back in and out. Um, now you'll notice that these apps look a little bit more Android-ified, like the Play Store, which is where we need to go to actually install um, the Traveler app. i have got things like Spotify on here, um, Disney Plus and Netflix, you know, all the different apps. So now you're basically running an Android operating system um, on your CarPlay head unit. So anything that you can do on an Android phone or tablet, you should be able to run on this particular device. And there is why we, we can now run the Traveler app. So you've seen that we've, we can run it in this little window and it, it works in there. And we can zoom in and zoom out and do all the things that we would normally do. Um, and, you know, see our geofences and touch little icons about what's around our immediate area. Uh, use the menus and all that sort of stuff. But obviously we can tap the icon for the app and then go into full screen app mode. So now it's just relaunching the app and now we've got uh, Explore Oz Traveler in full view. We just wait for the GPS to acquire and it sort itself out. It's doing a places resync as well. 
and it's acquired we're online and everything looks good so now we've obviously basically got access to the entire app that we would normally have um, places treks and track logs all the usual all the usual suspects are here your folder system um, people probably we probably need a whole tutorial on how we use folders and the best way to use folders in our opinion um, and we can do that at some other stage obviously all the settings and bits and pieces so the whole app is working now in a carplay head unit we're sitting in a Volkswagen Polo um, that had the wide carplay and um, there you go so Explore Oz Traveler wide Android carplay easy as that plus all your other apps um, on one of these Android AI adapter boxes so um, thanks again for following this video and hopefully it helps you out and um, we'll uh, catch you around on the next one